copy an angle, we need an angle to copy. So let's draw one. An angle we know is two rays with a common endpoint. So let's let this be our common endpoint, call it A. Here's one side, which is a ray. And let's draw another side that starts at A and takes off that way. Now we need some place to copy that angle. So let's draw a ray. You can do it down below or on the side. I'm going to do mine down below. I'm going to give it an endpoint and call it D. Now we go to our compass. You want to set the compass so that it's going to be long enough that you have plenty of room to work. You don't want it too tiny and close in here. But set it long enough that you have room to work. But it also has to be able to cross both of those sides, so you don't want to make it too long. So that's a pretty good setting there. You put your compass point on A. Then you're going to draw an arc which intersects both of those sides. Now, before your compass has a ch chance to change settings, go ahead and draw an arc with your compass point on D. That will be fairly long, long enough so that when you draw that second side, it'll be able to intersect that arc. Now, before we get too much farther, I'm going to label these points, these points of intersection to help us in this construction. I'm going to label this point of intersection B. I'm going to label this point of intersection C. And I'll label this point of intersection E. With our compass now, we need to measure this distance. So we set the compass point on B. And then change the pencil point so that it goes to C. So that's the measure BC. Now we use that measure, set our compass point on E, and draw an arc which intersects the arc we just created on our copy. Now mark that point of intersection, label it F, draw a ray which goes through starts at D and goes through F. And we have a copy. FDE is a copy of angle BAC.